corns and calluses are thickened hard areas of skin which are your skin's response to friction and pressure they usually develop on the feet and toes or hands and fingers healthy people normally don't need treatment for calluses and corns they have to be treated only if they cause discomfort and be careful because some corns may have very bad consequences get rid of the source of friction and pressure and corns calluses will disappear on their own it is a different story for people with diabetes or other condition that cause poor blood flow to the feet if you have such a condition it's better to consult doctor for proper treatment of corns and calluses Kaizen Gyoz help women achieve their body goals with ease and efficiency by helping to choose them proper meal plans and effective workouts. Do subscribe to our channel and you will see the good results in very short time. If you have a corn or a callus, you will notice a thick rough area of skin, a hardened raised palm, softness or pain under your skin, flaky dry or waxy skin. Corns and calluses are different. Corns are smaller than calluses and have a hard or soft core with flame skin around it. Corns usually develop on the tops and sides of your toes, sometimes between your toes. They can be painful to the touch. Calluses aren't painful. They can form on the soles of your feet or your palm or on your knees. If a corn or callus causes pain or is inflamed, consult your doctor. If you suffer from diabetes or poor blood flow, consult a doctor before trying to treat the problems on your own. You can now follow me on Instagram too, because even a small injury can cause an ulcer on the affected area. Here's what can cause excessive pressure and friction. Wearing shoes that don't fit well. Not wearing socks with your shoes. Playing musical instruments and using hand tools. These are certain risk factors for development of corns and calluses. Bunions, hamato, other food deformities such as bone spurs, leaving your hands unprotected when using hand tools. There are ways to treat a corn or a callus at home, but if you have diabetes or poor blood flow, consult your doctor before trying them. Use non prescription pads. Soak your hands or feet in warm, soapy water to make a callus or a corn softer and remove the hardened skin with pumice stone. Nail file emery board or washcloth. Don't use sharp objects for this procedure. Moisturize the skin on your feet or hands. Wear comfortable shoes and socks. The Cares and Cures team want you and those close to you to live a healthy, happy life. Your health is a valuable thing. Look after your health and your mind so that you can live your life to the fullest. Remember, you only get one. Please share this with your family and friends and if any query, do let us know in the comments below. This video is provided for informational purpose only. The things discussed in this video may cause an allergic reaction and damage your health. Before use, consult a certified specialist. The editorial board is not responsible for any harm or other consequences that may be caused by the use of the methods, products or items mentioned in this video.